And welcome back. We are have a second map now for the UEC. This is server two. So we make sure our settings don't collapse on us. All right, it is a Reno's fall here. 150 player counts, 75 versus 75 a piece on each side here, respectively. All right, starting out with the arty for Uni. Looks like we got LFL with Crom and Forbin here. Up the arty. Looks like they're trying to get two cannons up into position here. For the infantry side, they have the 52nd New York joined by the Shenandoah regulars. They have Lee's French Legion. And they have the 6 Texas. See, LFL is led by Major Hookah. 50 seconds is led by John Beck. And 6 Texas is led by Captain Rousseau. Take a look at the CSA team. They have A and V led by Colonel Killer. The 4th Georgia led by Captain Clarkey. And... 56 ah. Virginia led by Captain March. Slaughter, joined by some AGL. All those traps to victory! <laughs> Looks like they are off. By the way, back there is CSA spawn. Zoom out here. Point of contention is right in here. Actually, quite a large point of contention. And Union spawn is back over here. So you can see the Union already is moving to get their guns into a better position here. We'll see how far forward the Union wants to do their defense. Actually, it looks like they're moving pretty far forward here. So they are alive. Hey, on saute la fence. It's for unit previews here. This is Lee's French Legion. They are a primary uh, French-speaking unit. They have Artie and they have Infantry. Um, I see them active in numerous events uh, throughout the weekend. I don't know if they play any events during the week. Um, but they do a lot of events. Uh, they do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for EU times. Um, I can't remember if they do Saturday UEC or... Um, or um, Grand Campaign, I can't remember. But um, a very active, very aggressive unit. Uh, as you can see, very uh, robust artillery section. Well, opening shots against, who is this? Killer in the A and V here. But yeah, if you're looking for a French-speaking unit uh, that's very aggressive on the field, there's a lot of arty and plays uh, throughout the weekend, uh, you might want to check out the LFL. Ah, the market top 40k. Guys, about face behind you. A is really getting hammered here by multiple units of the Union here. They might be providing a nice distraction. As here comes Captain Slaughter and the 56. And they're going to try to get... Well, it looks like they got back into cover just in time here. Mr. John Beck from the 52nd. Just kind of hanging out on this island here. But if we zoom out here, you can kind of see how the CSA is weighted on this side of the field while the Union is more spread out here. Um, I would say 52nd is very vulnerable to an attack here. And if they get wiped out, uh, A and B could hold this corner against these two units and the CSA could just swing around, beat them through the flank here. Let's attack up. Attack down this way. Cut off the retreat and attack over here and wipe out the LFL. But LFL is going to try to, uh, like I said, a very aggressive unit here attacking the A and V. But they are facing the A and V in the 10th Alabama, who is a very robust unit of itself. Um, multiple components of it. Uh, they play in many events uh, throughout the weekend, both EA and NA time. EA. EU and NA times. EA, Jesus. Screw EA. EA. Oh, we got a counterattack here by the six Texas here. My kid's coming in a little bit too late here. They got they're in danger of getting defeated in detail with this. As now this consolidated CSA force can now just kind of swallow them up. But yeah, as you see, A and B is a very disciplined unit. Um, they've also got uh, they're not in here right now, but six Alabama. 
um, is also a partner unit with them. They also have robust arty. Um, forget who their commander is. Oh god. Is it Exorf? I don't know if Exorf's a commander. I see him a lot though. Uh, but they have pretty much any, you know, they're another one of those units that um, plays in many events at many different times. Uh, so, and they are quite good. <laughs> they have a very uh, aggressive reputation, but not undisciplined. It's still very well controlled here, so. Uh, another unit uh, that you might want to check out. Again, links to all these units are in the description. Not only the ones I've mentioned, but everybody. Kind of zoom out here so you can see the field. That attack by the Union really didn't do much. Um, all it's done really is just, you know, lost them some tickets. Sorry, has moved up very far here. Okay. Yeah, I'd be surprised if the CSA doesn't launch an attack against the 52nd while they have a moment here. Kill is going to get himself reset here. Reconstitute and try to keep the LFL busy. Although, wait a second, here comes Captain Roussel's coming up again. Union is being very, very aggressive on this map here. You usually don't see the Union this aggressive, but we do have several aggressive units, so... You heard him. He said Rapido. They're gonna go down some Rapids. Oh, but here comes the A and V to hit him. I don't think uh, 6 Texas realized they still had the threat of A and V on their side there. And A and V has made them... Uh, Lead for that. Oh, here's the attack I was waiting for. Fort Georgia here, swallowing up the 52nd. And they have succeeded. The 56 was also in that charge, so now you see the Union flank is now exposed here. And really, the only unit left is the LFL, and they can be easily attacked and uh, wiped out if the CSA so chooses. I don't know if the CSA is going to go for an early cap or what they're going to do here. But um, the Union's basically been forced from the field. Good job by LFL to pull back, though. They were in an exposed position here. You see, they're taking uh, infrared fire right now. Oh, they left the flag down. That's not good. Yeah, I get the shot off quick. It's to Jacques. Oh, did they get them both? Oh, they got them both. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for that kid to shot. You see, the CSA has got them. They did cap here at Battle Ready, which is an interesting decision here. Um, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. It's a good opportunity for the Union to get their tickets back here. To be honest with you, if they can retake uh, the cap, as the CSA is very scattered at the moment. Here comes Fort Georgia coming through the corner. Trying to get behind the elephant. Sideways, press V. I want your spine! Push down, push down, push down. 
Fuck it, get yeah. to the right, get back to the right. Keep that flag. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you probably overextended a little bit. Um, it's probably time to retreat for the Fort George. It was a nice attack, but you're gonna lose the value of it if you get wiped here. Yeah, I think that was a mistake hanging out that long. So now the problem is you're gonna respawn all the way back there versus if you had pulled back after you did the initial attack. You'd have reconstituted your men within a minute. Not even that, and you would have been good to go. Again, the Sea Union has a great opportunity here to recap. Um, I think if they uh, see if they could push off, I'm not even sure if these guys are capping, to be honest with you. I think they might be just on the edge or just outside of it. But there's a frontal attack here. Looks like a good discipline hold by the CSA. There we go, there goes the cap, even though the charge... Oh, I think it succeeded. Yeah, the charge succeeded. They won. The Union has won that charge. The only unit left on the field is now the A and V, but do they know that? Does A and V know? Let me know in the comments. I would like to know. Yep. So now what this will do is this will allow the Union to get some tickets back. Um, and kind of reset their defense. The timing is still not great, but, uh, you know, they'd be in a better position to be able to kind of reclaim some of the lost ground they had. Alright boys, load and hold, load and hold. Spider, fire at will. Come on boys, dress the line. That's not a line right now. Coming in the right fire, dress. guys. Uh, that's it. Cease fire! There we go. You can see the uh, Union has now kind of reset the field here a bit. Fire! Break those fall back. Uh, six Texas heading back out here again. I think this is a little bit too aggressive here. We'll see if it pays off. They are going to try to attack Fort Georgia. Maybe this will work if they can keep the... Because uh, they don't have their flag right now. So, the, uh, I would say I wouldn't charge in as six Texas. I would just get into a close shootout. And they should be able to win it here. Key is knocking out Clocky right now and, and, you know, taking out that pistol. Five, five. Independent, independent fire, fire independent boys, fire. independent fire. They are capping the CSA flag, which is another good thing. Good show with that shot, old boy. Good shot with that, Mr. No Shoes. Keep up the fire, keep up the fire. Burn it down, boys. Take that, you pansy! Where are your allies? Uh, what? where are your allies? I only have uh, enemies they're coming. Blue and gray. Out of the way. I mean, Killer's up there. He's, he's dealing with, uh, those units over there. Keep it up, chaps. So, you know, you got you got friendlies coming up down, though. That'll come up on their flank here if you hold for a little enemies bit. Enemies flank and left, chaps! Here they come! Give them the beans, chaps! Hold in! Come on, chaps! Give them the beans! Let's see here. We've got allies coming in, chaps. We've got allies. Keep, keep distracted. Yeah, this is what this is. Good job distracting here by the Fort Georgia has allowed... Who is this? The 56 and AGL to come up on the flank of the 6 Texas. And that is going to have to force them to fall back and over open ground. For some nice tickets and let them reclaim the, the uh, rápido, CSA rápido. flag. Rápido, rápido. Rápido, rápido, rápido. So, 6 Texas has been pushed back. In 30 minutes, they've hit engage. Not, you know, this is not great, but, uh, you know. Not too horrible. 
See, the ANV is fighting two units over here by itself right now. That left side of the CSA is the only place they could push. ANV can't take two units by itself. Okay. 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 Take aim. Especially not with Artie here as well. It's in the woods. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, shooting at them. 50 seconds, yeah, 50 seconds. Yeah, 50 seconds. Yeah. Go to the left. Yes, go for me. We, we need, we need uh, help on the point, Support. on the rocks. Okay, on the we rocks. need help. Copy that. Wait, uh, 52. I propose we own the, the woods and you help at the point. We are, we are, we are, we are going to the stones. Nice. We're going to move out. Shoulder, arms. Shut up. 50 seconds, right face! Right face! Head and number, forward watch, over the two fences! Over the fences! Okay. Okay. They're gonna leave Elif here, Elif, Elif yeah. here to, um, chase us. Elifel over here to hold this position to hold back uh, the A and B while the 50 seconds going to go and A the 6 Texas who is a bit beleaguered at the moment. Hold! In the line, bend the line boys. Enemy north at the snake fence. Near for reload. By the way, I do the uh... Black, so I can see how many men they kill. That's why I'm doing it. I know it's not a cinematic, but that's uh, it's useful to the unit commanders and units to see how how well their shots actually are, versus just oh yeah we shot. Did you hit anybody? See that? I saw one or two go down. I knew they shot two guys. Get a feel for how effective the volleys are, even the independent fire. Make sure you guys are in hard cover. No need to expose yourself. You're the defenders. It's more important you stay alive than for you to kill the enemy, to be honest with you. Kind of counterintuitive, but it's really the case. Looks like Slaughter has grown impatient, and he is going to attempt to charge them out. Let us see how this works. He was successful last time. And the four chargers going with them, excellent. Don't want to go in by yourself. And a very well-timed attack here will swallow up the six Texas by these two pincers. And it also went off at the same time with an attack by A and V. Keep in mind, there is no steam chat in this. It is all off of site and coordination in game. There is no Steam Chat. There is no third party communication. So to see a uh, see a three pronged movement here going off almost at the same time by the CSA team is really impressive here. And this sh we'll see here. SRR and what's left of these other elements are over here. But I think they're gonna get wiped out momentarily. Uh, they let uh, one flag get away. They live to tell the story. I watch more in the woods, but I can't really see shit in the woods, so... I tend not to like to hang around here too much. Back on the artillery, I think. Even sides. Oh, that cannon's about to fire again. Please get off that. You're gonna hit? No, the tree. Nope. Oh, I wow. hit the tree. Yeah, get a. Tree saved my life. Get a buried itself in the tree there. CSA did cap again here. I'm kind of surprised they didn't wait to get down to taking losses before they capped. But um, they made, I guess, uh, I guess they made that call there. I think I would focus on the A and B first and then swing out to these guys. 
or not even swing out, just kind of come up on point, use the stone wall and shoot it out and recap point and get your tickets back. Like, you don't need to charge these guys out. You can let them stay there, to be honest with you. But you need to deal with this element first before you deal with that, in my opinion. Double qui, attendez. Attendez, attendez, attendez. Oula là. Charge, charge. Look, I tired of the Yardie over there. That might expose him to another attack here. Who is this coming in? It is the 6 Texas. No, Phil's gonna come in and help. Good job. We are friendly, friendly. And that will wipe out the A and V, so task one is complete. I said right now I probably just kind of up on this stone wall, get enough men so you're outnumbering them, and just shoot them down. A and V's gonna have to spawn all the way back at the uh, main, so don't need to charge these guys out. You can, I mean, I suppose, um, if you think uh, you need to, but I. I... Oh, wait a second, what's this? Who's coming forward here? Ford Charger. Is coming forward. Oh, I don't know about this move here. They are about to get a surprise themselves. Brace! 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 Step off the ball, Brace, man! Defend! Defend yourself! Go back! You can see that's the end of the fourth Georgia now. Now you just have the 56 and the AGL back here. That's it. Now you might have enough power here to charge them out if you want. And it's only one unit. You do want to be capping though, because A and B is reconstituting and they will be back. So you only have this imbalance here for a very short amount of time. And the fact that you're not capping is a problem. Okay, this is the problem. You got to cap right now. You cannot let Killer get back into the fight without you having recapped. That will be a very big problem for you. Might not have time for all that. Here he comes. So you guys taking a little bit too long. Now you do have six Texas that might be able to restrain Killer, but you guys got to go soon here. In fact, it looks like the CSA has reconstituted most of its force now, because they have two of their flags here, so they actually are back at full strength now. But really, the Union has kind of lost all of its advantage here, and Killer's going to wipe out the 6 Texas. That's going to threaten this point over here. If Killer will win that fight, these guys are going to cross out in the open against a fully reconstituted force, and they're going to get cut to pieces here. And Kill is going to shoot him in the back. Problem is, even if you win this, Kill is going to be able to come right up behind and stop him. I don't even think they're going to win this. Yep. They've won that fight. Still got Killer over here as a threat. But it looks like he got pushed back a little bit here, maybe by the Arty crews, I'm not sure. But here we are, we're at six, uh, well, just under seven minutes. And the uh, Union has not recapped the point yet. This is a problem. 
Sometimes if you take too long, you kind of lose you lose your advantage here. Now you've got two of your flags down. It's going to be much harder to win shootouts with flags down. You're going to kind of have to charge in, and if they fail, you lose a lot of tickets. Surprised A and V is not moving up more, but I think they like to be kind of this unknown threat out in the woods, so they can ambush, like you saw them do. It's like the Union's moving out this time through the corn to try to conceal their movement in a little bit here. They might try to hit uh, from the opposite side. That might work. We'll see. It's going to be hard to coordinate, though. It's a little bit very wide dispersion here. I wouldn't go over. You will just get slaughtered by this formation here. Might be under the crest though, I'm not sure. And they might just be under it. See, that flank is... We'll see if they can get there in time. Yeah, they're coming back over it. Yeah, 4 minutes 30 to retake the point. And I think there was another charge over here that once more A and V was able to hold. I think that was against the 6th Texas. Nope, oh, 6 Texas is over here. That must have been against the 52nd then. The problem is, with all these cheeky maneuvers you're trying to do here, you're not, you don't have enough time. you got four minutes to recap the point. You just got spotted out in the open here. Picked off as you go. Not quite sure what what Sos intent at the moment is. He completely bypassed. Um, now we got an attack here by Killer against the LFL here. This might be a problem here. We'll see if he can win this fight. This is pretty aggressive here. And this might give the Union an opening, we'll see. This so attack is going to kind of fizzle out here. Now 52nd is here trying to hold on. But a and V might be able to take out two whole units here by itself. Gonna be close. Uh. Yep, A and V has defeated both the 52nd and the LFL by themselves. Yeah, ya estamos aquí. Vale, me ocupo. I don't know if I would call those Rambos. Both units were basically wiped. You know, they were started the attack together. I wouldn't call that rambling. It was just kind of finishing the fight. They came down to like two, three guys, so on each side. Puta. 
Venga, carga ya ahora mismo, por Dios. Estamos de carga. One minute thirty now, recap. ¿Estamos fuego a discreción o.? Sí, 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 sí. You lose. First. We do have an attack coming down here by Mr. Hookah from the LFL. One minute to do it. Allez, à ma gauche, sautez le mur. Passez le mur à gauche du major, monsieur. En joue. En joue. 3, 2, 1, feu. Sur le point, en avant, en avant, en avant, sur le point, sur le point. On n'a pas le temps, 52 secondes. And here they go. I think this is the last chance for the Union here, this charge by the LFL. But they've been caught out in the open once more. I don't know if they'll have enough by the time they get in to actually hold them. I don't know, you say you're no coward, but you, know, you keep saying you're looking for a spine. So I'm having a hard time, you know, uh, reconciling those two positions. Bit of cognitive dissonance now that's uh, kind of overrunning this, you know. Oh, well, match is over either way. Union is easily defeated by the CSA once more. Good play to the CSA. Uh, not bad by the Union, but um, you can't put, you know. He just outplayed him again. Better tactical, better, better, you know, knowledge of the field. Um, Union was way too aggressive on attacks. It didn't matter, frankly, in my opinion. Way tickets and threw away positions. And the CSA outfought him on most of the single engagements, so that'll do it.